what's up guys welcome back to my back to channel today we are going to be talking about the hunger games okay so this is a very popular book that a lot of people have talked about but i've never really read it yet um so i just decided like why not to read the book and okay, so, so gonna do a that's what we're going to be doing today section, so and then i'm going to do a little spoiler video. section so right now this is the little non-spoiler section so the book is basically where people are we're in the district of Paynham, Paynham, and every year uh people two two people from each district there's 12 districts um two people from each district um has to fight each other to the death in this thing called the hunger games so it's basically to like remind them never to overthrow the capital which is like the head of Paynham ever again so that's what they do they have them like put in this environment they have to like fight each other to the death and stuff so that's basically what it's about and yeah a lot of stuff happens in the little place and they call this um yearly tradition the hunger games so that's basically what it's about so yeah time to move on to the non-spoilers section okay so if you're here that means you have read the book or you don't care and you just want to listen to like a little book talk about it and that's fine so let's just get into the video okay so um so the book starts with what's her name with katniss and uh yeah we meet katniss and her best friend gail and they're in the woods they're hunting illegally because they're not supposed to hunt in the woods because you know but they still do it anyway so to like and then whatever they catch they split it up between each other and they go to like this butcher and see how much they can get because like they're not that um they're very like poor since they live in the 12th district and the 12th district is like the worst district district one is like the best district and so they get put into the hunger games and you can you can start once you're 12 once you're 12 you can get put into this little lottery to get children to be in the hunger games but you can do it extra for some terrence terra terrace ter i think that's what it's called um i'm gonna put like the spelling somewhere over here but if you put extra like an extra little ballot to put, get put in hunger games you get like extra grain like extra bread extra like food and stuff like that and since like they're not very like wealthy they have to do that for their families so they can get extra money and today um this year her sister turns 12 her sister pris sorry i'm like forgetting all the names um katniss's sister pris turns 12 so she gets put in the ballot and guess what she gets chosen for the hunger games but you know katniss being a good sister and everything she takes her place in the hunger games and she gets chosen instead and so we meet all the people they go into the hunger games and they start to like fight but here's the thing um they each have like sponsors and also they have someone who like is like their guardian is kind of like their leader they're like oh the coach i guess they, like tells them what to do and her and this other dude pita um are the both the two districts from district 12 and they have to like pretend to be in love so they can get the people to the audience to like fall in love with them so like to get the audience to fall in love with them so they can get more sponsors and so like if they're hurt their sponsors can give them medicine or you know stuff like that so having a lot of sponsors is like very helpful so that's what their coach told them to do so they can get like a lot of sponsors is to like pretend to be in love so the audience can fall in love with them so the audience will be on their side and not want them to lose and stuff like that and but the thing is she knew Peta. she remembered Peta from when she was like a little kid and she didn't have money so she went around looking for like food and she found this like moldy bread from the trash and she was gonna get it and, like cut off the bad pieces and then the dude saw her Peta saw her peter saw katniss and she um but his mom also saw her trying to like get bread and she was like go away go away and she like just stayed there in like the woods just like hiding i guess i don't remember the exact story but i think that's what happened and so he went inside he was like wait stay there i'll go get you some bread or stuff like that and then he went inside and he got her um some fresh loaves of bread and he threw it to her but her his mom saw and he like got in trouble and stuff like that so like she reminds him and she calls him like the bread guy the bread boy or something like that 
and so like that was really cute and stuff so then you know the whole thing you have to kill people so they can like stay alive and the first thing like the cornucopia where like literally half of the people die there because with the cornucopia they get the most like stuff and so much stuff happens um Peter goes like missing but then they find out that he's with the careers and the careers are like district one two and three the like you know the popular districts the people who mostly always win so they call them like the careers and they always have a lot of sponsors and stuff like that they, and she finds out that he teamed up with them but then she finds out that he didn't actually team up with them it's just so like he can get in on them and like spy on them and so like the hunger games goes on a whole bunch of people die but then she meets this little girl rue she's 12 and she's from district 11 which is like the second worst district and what they do there is like they farm and coal mine and stuff like that and then um they like team up but then guess what <laughs> she dies so that was like and then when she dies she like um puts flowers all around her and stuff like that and she like kisses her forehead or something like that and then she like sings to her because like she had a little mockingbird song to let the people know that she was like safe she was just like um talks to the mockingbirds kind of like that and that's how she knew that she could trust her and it was just like really sweet their whole story and stuff and then um like she did that little thing to show that she's not like she's against the capital and so her little way of rebellion and stuff and that she won't like let them turn against each other i guess and then she finds Peta again because Peta he got hurt by Cato, which is like the big bad leader of like the creators and stuff and he gets hurt by Cato. And he's like about to die and stuff but she goes looking for him and she finds him he's like really wounded and stuff and he has this huge gash and um but he gets medicine from Hamish, and we also find out Hamish is their coach and also find out like um Hamish has been sending her stuff but he hasn't been sending uh, Peta stuff the only time that they got sent stuff is when Peta was with Katniss because Katniss was the one that he was sending stuff so that that whole bit was like a little bit awkward I feel like that was a little bad stuff like he could have helped Peta a little bit but anyway they move on um they get to like the big battle where a whole bunch of people are all dead and stuff it's like them and Kato are the only people left and so they like get them together with this I think they used a fire or something to get them together and then they turned all the other people somehow they turned them to like these evil wolves type of creatures I don't know and then they like fight against the creatures and then like Kato's up there but then um they like all go up against the cornucopia but then Kato gets taken by the creatures and he's like being tortured by them while they're just up there in the cornucopia just like staying there and being miserable and stuff like that and then um Katniss finally kills Kato and then they win but then they realize um there's a twist because you know how there's only supposed to be like one day one victor they changed it because the audience wanted it they changed it so they could be two victors but then when Kato gets killed they change it again and makes um changes the rule that they can only be one victor so then they're like going like no you kill me no you kill me no you kill me and then Katniss is like you know what let's both die yeah and then she takes these like berries like if you eat them they're like poisonous and they'll like kill you instantly or stuff so they take the berries and they're about to eat them but then there was they like change the rules and like no 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 it's okay you guys both won <laughs> it's fine but then when they go back um he he also got like hurt like he still got hurt with his leg and she used this little thingy i forgot what it's called to like help give him strength to his leg but it also made him lose his leg so now he has like prosthetic leg which reminded me of hiccup for some reason it was so weird like prosthetic leg equals hiccup like what anyway so then they like um Peter was like oh you thought that was fake what no I actually fell in love with you and then she was like I think I fell in love with you but I'm not sure yet so then they were just like all cold to each other and stuff because like it's really awkward because like he fell in love with her but like she did fall in love with him but she doesn't know that yet because obviously anyway and then they find out that there's a problem and the problem is that the capital hates her especially her like Pita and me but the capital absolutely hates her because she um went against the capital because how they changed the rule there's only supposed to be one victor at the end and she used that she like bamboozled them and they're like 
we don't like that so they like hate her and they're gonna like try to kill her and stuff like that and so she like tries to bamboozle her way out of it so that's basically what like what like the second book is about um like her trying to get out of trouble with the capital at least i think that's what it's about like they have to go around the districts doing their whole victor's parade they have to pretend to be a couple again and that stuff that's what like catching fire is about um i didn't really finish that book to be honest i i was only on page 76 but i just didn't feel like reading it that much i don't know why it was just like too much but i just didn't feel like reading it i'm gonna try to read it again maybe i could do a book review of that but that's all um for today's book review um i really liked this video um i really liked the hunger Games. it was a really nice book catching fire i'm not sure maybe i just didn't give enough thought to it like maybe i just should try again give another attempt to finish the book because i'm sure it's a really good book i really liked the hunger games but i i don't know what do you guys think comment down below anyway um i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like subscribe and turn on the post notifications so you never miss a video when i upload and i'll see you guys hopefully next sunday bora hey